YouTube. Just give an update on my uh, finger press brake. 62 inches bending length. Uh, I'm gonna buy two 20 ton air over hydraulic bottle jacks. Should make quick work out of that. Um, <clears throat> this is two by, or excuse me, four by six box quarter wall. These are Monroe plow springs for you, those of you that live in a different state that don't have snow or plows. What they are uh, is a spring that if you were to hit something with your plow, such as a curb, that would trip and fold the plow forward and these springs um, will pull the plow back. They're uh, pretty tough. They're, I think I paid $21 for the pair and they're readily available. Um, so it works great for holding up this bar. That thing's got to be over 200 pounds. Um, these are half inch bolts. Um, I think we went over through this on the last video. TIG welded on the back so when you want to move a finger you just uh, take your quarter inch impact and loosen up those bolts and move your fingers around. Um, yeah. Gussets up in the corner. I had some, uh, I know you guys love my camera work. I had some, um, these plates on the bottom my buddy at work gave me. His wife worked for some doctor's office and they had a MRI machine that they were moving and these plates or some shit held down the MRI machine, but it's half inch material, nice and thick. So that braces my lower. I'm not quite sure if the top beam is gonna bend. If I were to try to do like a full length um, eighth inch steel, according to the calculator online, this will do it at 40 tons. Um, but I don't know if I ever wanna try, who knows? I don't wanna break anything. Worst case scenario, I have to build some type of A-frame on there. Um, I did a miscalculation and Part of building, as you guys know, is um, coming up with solutions to problems. I didn't measure right, and I thought that these springs um, would fit in between this gap. Turns out they didn't, so I had to cut a uh, basically a I think it's like a three and three quarter three and three quarter pipe that goes up there, and I just have a a nut welded on this threaded rod that hooks on hooks onto that loop up there. I can raise um, that up out of the way. But anyways, um, yeah, it's coming along good. I think uh, next week I'll buy a couple bottle jacks and uh, try a bend. See what happens. I think it'll be. I think it'll be just fine, as long as I don't try to overdo anything, such as you know, three sixteenths full length steel. I think that would be a lot for it. But uh, should be able to handle eighth inch aluminum full bend, eighth inch steel full bend, or full length. And basically I'm building this to make parts for um, my boats that I'm building, or currently building one boat. Uh, and I want to start another boat real quick here, just knock out a flat bottom boat that will uh, get me through the summer or two before I finish my other boat. And this just helps me build easier, and I don't have to pay discount steel. To bend all my stuff, I can do it as I go. Uh, I think it'll be a great help. Um, I also learned from a guy at work that Discount Steel in Minneapolis here is a little spendy. He told me about this place up in St. Cloud, Minnesota called Midway Iron, Midway Metal, something like that. He says they're way cheaper than Discount Steel. I thought to myself, no way, Discount Steel is huge and it says Discount Steel, so it's got to be at a discount. So, <clears throat> I price checked them and this um, 4 by 6 quarter, 24 feet long was $100 cheaper up in St. Cloud. $100 for one stick, that's huge. So that's like 30% more uh, at Discount Steel. Anyways, I sent them the quote, they uh, gladly matched it and I bought it from Discount Steel. Um, I'm going to build a 17 and a half by 60 flat bottom boat real quick. Um, and I added everything up in the cart at Discount Steel on their website. Everything that I think I should need. I'm sure I'm missing some shit. And then I um, 
had Midway Iron quote me, and they came in like $500 cheaper. Holy shit, that's a lot of money when you're building a boat. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's kind of interesting to learn how that works, and all these years that I thought I was getting a great deal, it turns out I wasn't. But I did build my, or buy my metal for my big boat on a 29% uh, discount. So I saved basically uh, exactly what St. Cloud would have charged for that. Anywho, that's the update. Um, there'll be more to come when I get these bottle jacks in place and figure some stuff out. I'll post another video of how it bends. Have a good one. See you, bye.